Jesus part alien? I believe so. And was he part alien and trying to do good? Yes, I believe so. So he was breaking away. He was using his power. And yeah. he's like, yo, what these aliens are doing to us is fucked up. Right. We need to break free from that. Yeah. And I'm going to liberate the people. Yeah. So you have to understand. You, you, you're right on point. There's good and evil yeah, Jesus everything. is the man, bro. Yeah, he's There's good and evil and everything. We're all part alien yeah. at this point, right? Absolutely. Yeah. It's in our DNA. Oh, fuck. I yeah. thought he was a little bit more. Well, he was, he was more. Actually. He was a little bit more, yeah. How was he a little bit more? Well, if you look at the Apocrypha text, you discover that not only was Jesus' mom a virgin birth, but his grandmother was also a virgin birth. Nobody ever talks about that in church, and they hear about that in Sunday school. Wait a minute. So his grandma, so, wow. Yeah. So you see this establishment of this particular bloodline. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, he comes through the womb and then begins to regain all of his own memories, right? So he is a reincarnation of himself from a previous lifetime. Oof. That's why sometimes I hypothesize that he could be Thoth the Atlantean, who says that he could incarnate on and in any plane he desires. Could he have decided now to come back through the womb? So Thel the Atlantean human? was the king of the Atlantean Empire. Yeah, he was a uh, he was one of them. Or one of the one leaders of the Atlantean yes. Empire. He yeah. is reincarnating inside Jesus. Yeah. And why has he chosen to help the people instead of enslave us like he did in Good the past? question. When you look at the ancient nice. text where Jesus gets all of his information from. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The Emerald Tablets of Thoth. We need to talk about the Emerald right? Tablets, bro. 36, 38,000 year old text. In there, in the book that I wrote about it, I line up the Christian text yeah. and I line up Jesus' text from the New Testament. A lot of the times these God figures or these leaders would have scribes. Right. He actually wrote it down himself. He actually put it onto these uh, these tablets. And these what is he writing in? What what language? Well, it looked like the language was runes, R-U-N-E-S. Okay. And uh, in this text, he writes about uh, coming to coming to this planet after the Great Flood. And seeing the temples of wow. ancient Kemet sticking up out of the mud and actually going on a mission to help rebuild civilization. Not that it was for the first time, but he's rebuilding it to a high level. So it was already built, yeah. destroyed. He's like, hey, let's run it back again. Right. His father sends him on a mission. His father says, go, uh, go to the land of Kem and do the plan that ye know of. So he gets his he gets his crew and he gets into the great ship of the master and he takes off until the planet disappears. This Which is, is the text. horizon. Right, he's up in the sky. Oh, he's coming from He's in a ship that goes up. Gotcha. Because you know this because when he gets over the land of Kem, he goes, I see the land of Kem beneath us. Mm. And I see the temples rising up out of the mud that were flooded by the fountains. Now we come back. Now he comes down to the ground. The fountains he, is the great flood. Right. Got it. Okay. He opens you. the door, he comes out. And he calls these people barbarians coming to attack him. Probably Crazy. territorial. Crazy. And he says, I raised my staff and sent out a ray of vibration, stopping them still as fragments of stone of the mountain. So now he's got a stun gun that can freeze them in their tracks. That's mm. fire. That's technology. That mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> was the spaceship. But right. yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, we have something right now in the military called the active denial system. Which is? It's a system that works just like what he described in ancient tablets, yeah. where it sends out a beam, a ray. Type an active denial system, put it up there. It sends out a beam at yeah. A, yeah. a crowd of people coming to attack, right? To riot or whatever. And it stops them in their tracks. It makes them feel like they're in pain. Makes them feel like they want to vomit. Put voices in their head. Wow. Whatever you want to do, you can program the frequency into their body to make it do that. Is this what the people said they were experiencing in the... Uh, Cuba? Yeah. Like Havana Basin. Uh, yeah, Havana Syndrome. Is yeah. yeah. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. Keep going, keep going. All right. So, yeah, yeah. Right. So, right. so then here's the key about the God thing. Him, you know, not wanting to be one of these gods. When, they, when he released them from that, he started talking to the people peacefully. And they started groveling at his feet. And he said, no, no, no. Just get up. He said, I'm a son of Atlantis. He didn't say I'm God. And he said, I'm a son of Atlantis. And I'm here to bring you back up to a high level of civilization. And he worked with the people for a couple thousand years to rebuild that civilization. Before he left, and told his, he told all of his people that came here with him, spread out around the planet. This is how Atlantis advanced again. Spread out around the planet and duplicate what we did here. And this is where you see similar stories Correct. across ancient texts around the world. Correct. And those similar stories are well, higher intelligence comes mm -hmm. to us, bestows yep. upon us this wisdom after the floods. The